Another stock that we're watching today is Tesla, and it may be ramping up production now that electric car maker is set to add to its workforce and increase production at its California car plant. This is all according to an internal email obtained by Bloomberg. And you can see Tesla shares moving to the upside on the heels of that report, up nearly 3%. Melody Hom is here to break all this down for us. And Melody, when we talk about Tesla time and time again, I feel like we're always talking about the supply and the demand issues when it comes to this company. Demand, some of those fears there may be a little bit overdone if they're looking to ramp up production. Well, especially coming off of the numbers last week that we received that they actually delivered nine, over 95,000 cars last quarter, and a huge bulk of them, of course, were those Model 3s. The ongoing question that investors have is, are those cheaper Model 3s cannibalizing that consumer appetite for the pricier and obviously better margins for the Model S, uh, that, that sleek uh, sedan, and we know that the Model Y is potentially coming in the future. I think one thing I wanted to know is this memo is not from Elon Musk. Mm -hmm. That is my biggest takeaway here. This is from the VP of Automotive, Jerome Guillen, and we have a full screen, I think, where it says, as we continue to ramp up production, uh, please tell your friends and neighbors that we have lots of exciting new positions open, both in Fremont and at Giga. Of course, Giga, he's referring to the company's battery factory near Reno, Nevada. What I am emphasizing here, Shauna, is that sometimes we do not believe Musk anymore. Like, th there is a threshold that we have crossed where all of his individual tweets, unfortunately, are not company lines. And so when you see someone who is perhaps uh, a little bit more measured and in control, and for that to go to an all email distribution list for every single employee in that company, it gives investors a little bit more confidence, hence why you're seeing that spike up today, although shares are down about 29% in 2019 alone after those disappointing last quarter numbers. Uh, I want to make note that uh, in that same memo, Guillen pointed out that output may reach 500,000 vehicles in 2019, which is, of course, a very ambitious goal. But he's, he's saying, hey, we have a lot of confidence in that Shanghai factory that was a huge splash uh, several months ago, including the stamping, body, paint, and general assembly lines that are well underway. And they're supposedly hitting a lot of records there. So I think by all measures, a lot of the worst fears that we had encountered time and time again, I would say over the last six months, seem to have been distilled a little bit and investors are sighing a bit of relief today. Yeah, Melody, you talk about the Shanghai factory. It sounds like to me it almost seems like maybe morale might be a little bit down over at Tesla and we're trying to have these big executives come in and ramp up uh, some of the excitement around some of these employees who might be questioning what their future is at the company. But another stock I wanted to point out today in the wake of Tesla's news is also NIO. So NIO is a car company over in China. It produces uh, electric vehicles and that stock is up just around 2% today after it reported its delivery numbers for the month of June. Now, they did increase from the previous month. We know NEO has tended to move with a lot of the positive Tesla news, or negative, yes. I guess, therefore, over the last several weeks. But just overall, taking a step back and looking at what this means for demand for electric vehicles in China, the fact that it's increasing could therefore maybe mean good news for Tesla in that region. Yeah, I think, to your point, they do move in lockstep. They tend to do as we see NEO's 10-month trajectory after going public September 12th, 2018. Mm -hmm. I do have to say, though, this is still small potatoes. Look at what stocks we're talking about yep. right here. NEO is trading at $3.76 a share. With that kind of beat expectation, they actually delivered over 3,500 vehicles, but that's still very, very much small potatoes when you compare it to the overall landscape of electric vehicles. I actually ha am hanging my hat more so on the bigger juggernauts, including Mercedes and Audi, mm -hmm. to really be making this foray into EVs. And NEO is one of those interesting, sexy, fascinating competitors that obviously has a grasp of the Chinese market, but I would not count Tesla out. Uh, especially if, according to that memo, if we believe all those words, we can expect that the Shanghai factory is going pretty smoothly. Yeah, again, that's very important to point out. It's only $3.77 uh, <laughs> stock today, but shares, again, up just around 2% so far. Melody, thanks so much.